Yay, garden time. So I figured I'd start over here, see what's going on. I'll focus. There you go. I'm gonna get some more. But I guess it is a pussy willow. I'm gonna get little, there'll be little fuzzy pieces. Look, here comes some more. Oh, aren't you cute? See, I'm so glad I didn't get rid of you. So I'm not um, digging or anything like that today, but I'm in here. I just laid my um, my path down, and I got I got a ton of a ton of bags. I'm gonna take them over and put them by the shed so that other people can have some too. And let's see what's going on, and I'll show you what I'm getting ready to feed the plants. So I'll be giving the plants a haircut maybe next week, maybe in two weeks. It's a little cold at night. I want it to be just a little warmer, and then I'll give these guys a haircut. You know, these guys cut them all down to the ground so they can come back strong. Look how good the yucca is doing. So much better. Do, 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 do. I got black lilies right here and there should be some black lilies coming up over here a little rose this is a teeny rose the roses are like little teeny roses but they're super cute lavender my sage Yay, here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I pick up little pieces of moss like this. And then put them, this is my, oh, this is my little moss garden. Just kind of stick it right there. Like that. Isn't that cute? I have a moss garden. Got some snapdragons. Okay. A little angel. The frog did pretty good for the winter. Maybe it'll need a paint job next summer. Crocus are coming. What's a pretty crocus? Dude, I learned the other day that saffron comes from crocus. I had no idea. But I guess there's like, I don't know, 60 or 80 species of crocus or something like that. I can't remember. But um, I think there's only one specific breed of crocus that creates saffron but yeah and you have to be careful because well, some of them are poisonous and one of them is saffron so that's like super cool <laughs> have a good night yeah I'm excited I got all my plant I'm gonna feed them today got all that good stuff You want one? I have too many. Yeah. You want one? Yeah. Yeah. You want it right now or I'll just put it in your plot? Uh, or you can, I'll I just need, put it. I need to come. It's okay. You can take it home. Yeah. 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 Hold on a second. Okay. I'm back. So let's see. Here we go. What were we looking at? Oh, the crocus. Yeah, dude. So I heard crocus. But only one species of crocus, as far as I know. That's where saffron comes from. But there's other ones that are poison, so you have to, like, know exactly what you're looking at. Have a good night. Look how pretty they are. Oh. So pretty.
And my lilies are my uh, my tulips are coming up. I seen here's one right here. And there's some more over here. I could because I did like a like a line like this way. See there's one. And then I tried to put some like in a line right here. So they'll start coming up. Cause I learned um, succession planting. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, these are here now, but soon they won't be here. They'll come back next year, but they won't be here. And then the tulips will come up. When these guys are gone, then the tulips will show up. And then when the tulips are gone, um, other things will show up. I tried to do California poppy. They might show up. They should. So it's like succession planting. So one disappears and another one pops up. And so like the garden changes all the time. It's like an ever changing kind of thing, which is look a bee. Hi bee. Yeah, my first bee of the year. Hello bee. I'm so happy to see you. How was your winter? I wonder how long bees live. What a happy bee. Ready for springtime? Yeah. Okay. He got me distracted and I forgot what I was talking about. This is a really nice poppy. This isn't it so I get better. Yeah, and this one I think is like bright orange. That's a really nice poppy. And this is the one that'll come back year after year. So that's pretty cool. And the sage is, oh yeah, we can get a haircut. See this whorehound, it's kind of messy looking. And I think my sage might have drowned. I don't know why, but this, these two pots are the same pots. This is the lilac is in this pot and the sage is in that pot. But this pot, I just tipped it over and dumped it because like you could see the water just like in there. And I tipped it over and dumped it. Sage don't like that <laughs> at all. So we'll see if she comes back. She lasted two years, so this is, this would be her Either her second or her third winter. So if she comes back, then I'm I'm pretty sure she'll come back every year. If she's made it through a couple winters. Lilac. Hello Lilac. Happy to see you. Look at that little mushrooms. Little mushrooms. Where are you? Little mushrooms. There's a tulip. There's a tulip right there. So this rose here is absolutely probably the worst place I could have put it because it's a climber. See, it wants to come up. It's a, it's a, a climber, so. We're going to have to figure that out. More tulips. I guess I spread them farther than I thought I did. I had like 30 bulbs. So like I, I made a pattern over there. And then I guess I just kind of... Yeah, because I got, I got tulips coming up in here too. And these are the black tulips, I think. Here comes the, um, here I go again, hydrangea, haha, <laughs> here comes the hydrangea, oh there you are, hello hydrangea, happy spring, here's the daffodils, 
hopefully this comes back. This was, uh, I forget what they're called, but it was a big, 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 big white flower. Really pretty. And uh, see those little sprouties? It's it's called Lucifer something. Um, but I heard it could be really invasive. So what I'm trying to do is see some are coming over here. I don't want it to come past this pole. And nothing seems to grow very good, like right there. And so these are invasive. So I thought maybe I'll take these and put them over there. And they'll fill up that hole, that like naked spot. It's like a naked spot, like a lot of time of the year. <coughs> um, and this is uh, right here, Blue Vervain. I'm digging all this up. I'll just give it away to my fellow gardeners. It's just too much. I don't need... I have one. I'm going to keep one. There's one by that pot right there. I'm going to keep that one. And maybe that one that's right there. But, yeah. And then we'll be doing chamomile here. I always do my chamomile right here. And then uh, right there is a black dahlia. She'll be coming up. It should be... Hopefully, if I'm lucky and they come back, I see green right here. These are black flowers. They're really red, but red, when you say black, it, it's in the class of like deep reds and purples to, you know, come and be black. Some things are truly black, like some of my pansies. Are truly black but a lot of things that get called black are like really dark reds the blueberries let's uh let's go see what I'm gonna feed them so this is some coffee I got from Starbucks yeah, I don't know if anybody knows but you can go to Starbucks and most Starbucks will have like, they started actually putting their coffee grounds in, um, here I'll show you. They started putting their coffee grounds in little bags like this. And most Starbucks, oh, grounds for the garden. Let's see, grounds for the garden. Most Starbucks will have a bucket and you can literally just walk in there and take whatever you want. So. We got some coffee grounds for the blueberries, for the hydrangea. Um, I think the roses. And I got some extra acid too for, um, I'll show you. It's my wormwood coming back. Good morning all my friends. Good morning all my friends. Okay, oh, here we go. Boy, if you guys were watching me last year and I was convinced that I had bought something wrong because this one showed up and I thought it was a tulip and then the bulb came up and I was like that's not a tulip what is that and but it's so pretty like electric blue so I'm excited about that here's some, definitely some tulips I think some um, daffodils so let's see so Somebody came and stole one of my fucking sna uh, snapdragons. One of my uh, Venus flytraps. So I got another one to fill it for the hole. So put you right there. Put you right here. Welcome to the garden. This one I got a few months ago and it almost died. <laughs> but hopefully... Make it. So I'm gonna put those two in there, and then we got some some blood. We got some blood meal, and if if anybody is like looking for a good brand, Down to Earth is a good brand. 
you can get it on um, Amazon. So I got some kelp and some fishbone meal. I got some acid for the blueberries. And I got some. I was watching um, one of the garden people that I watch. I forget what, he, what his name is. California Gardening. I don't know. Um, but he was talking about insect frass. And I guess insect frass is bug poop. But he was saying that if because, because I was having problems with the honeysuckles last year... He was saying that you can dust your plants with the insect frass as well as like feed it to them and it should help keep the aphids away. So, so we got some insect frass and then I decided to try to be a little bit more professional and I got soap for plants because when I first started I thought that you could use Dawn and the, no, don't. <laughs> and then I went to try, um, it was like organic good for the earth soap with no like additives or bleaches or anything like that and still nope. So I said, okay, I'm going to do it. So insecticidal soap is what I got. Look at the. Hen and chicks are so happy. The bay, my bay is happy. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh. This is my, uh... I swear to God, every time I try to say something, my brain stops. My mugwort. She'll get a haircut next week. Dun, 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 some strawberries. Kind of squished them a little with my bags, but they're tough. I'm just give them a little shake, they'll be alright. More roses. And hopefully, my uh, passion flower comes back. This is a orange tulip. Oh, look at my. Uh, Violet. <laughs> My brain stops every time I try to say a name. And it's like I know what it is, but then when I go to say it, I'm like, Ugh. like Columbine. But these are pink, I think. And I kind of wanted to get some purple in there. What are you? You are. Um. <clears throat> Diphilium. Diphilium. I'm trying to learn the proper names for things. Oh yeah, see look, here's some tulips. Oh, tulips. There's some tulips right there. Nah. Gardenia took it a little hard this year. Here's my stinging nettle. Ooh, pretty. She bites. And then I put more over here. Right there. It'll spread too. So, and then that hopefully, like, if people come try to mess around, she'll bite them. And then we got the, the mints right here. And the jasmine. I'm thinking about starting this over. Sometimes you just got to dump it out and just start it over. I can see they're growing, so I'll just take the plant and I'll put it over here somewhere. Put something new in there. Here's the honeysuckle. We had some issues last year, but we're going to work on that. We're not going to let the aphids fucking tore it up. I think I got like five flowers. And you see how big this thing is? It's already c crawling way across the fence. All the way to over there. It's starting to come this way a little. And 
boy, the Mayfits just tore up and she had like five flowers and my, my, my leaves were all like messed up and they didn't look good. It's a Bethany. Some ladies mantle. These get real big. This will be like <sighs> a little present for my friend. A catnip. Got some really nice catnip. Definitely 100% cat approved. <laughs> I sent some to my family and their cat was like just holding it. I was like, no, nobody's gonna take this from me. <laughs> so, yeah. So today I'm just, I'm feeding, I just laid down the paths and I'm gonna feed these guys. I'm not doing any digging. And maybe in about two weeks, I'll come out here and give everybody a haircut and put down some soil on top. And then wood chips go on top of that. And then we're ready for the year. Oh, you know, what else I got was, um, I got, I know what's in here. You know, if you buy oyster shells for chickens, you spend a hell of a lot less money than if you were to buy oyster shells for the garden. And then I got some Epsom salt and some organic slug killer. Ow. So we're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna feed my, my plant babies. I'll bring you guys out here to do some soil. It's always really pretty when I put the soil down. You know, it's all just fresh and brown and clean. And all the flowers look really happy. So, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So, I'll see you in two weeks with the garden. And uh, thank you everybody for subscribing to me and watching my videos. I appreciate you. And I hope you enjoy the garden. It's uh, it's pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. <laughs> it is. I'm too too too. <laughs> These are blue irises. I got a black iris over here. It's not completely black. It's called Dracula, so it's like black with like a a sheen of purple and green. It's fucking dope. But there's a black one, and I'm going to get it, put it in here. So, uh, yeah, time to feed the planties, and I'll see you guys later.